Sometimes it's interesting to see how things play out when things go one way for one person and the downstream effects that can happen. And when you look at Daniel Bryan transitioning back into being an active in-ring competitor for WWE, we don't know if it's going to be truly full-time, somewhat full-time, largely part-time for the big shows here and there. We don't know yet. We just know that WrestleMania probably won't be his only batch back in WWE as an in-ring competitor. We could probably prepare for that possibility. So then that leads to other things happening downstream, such as post-WrestleMania, what happens with the authority structure, the power structure within SmackDown Live, and who's going to be the new SmackDown general manager. And to me, I've always thought it was kind of ridiculous to have both a general manager and commissioner on both shows. Like, to me, that's inherently confusing. It's inherently ridiculous. It is an example of Raw doing it with Kurt Angle and Stephanie McMahon, so retarded Raw does it with Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Got to have a McMahon involved on each show. Got to have somebody else that the people have liked that's been a star at some point in time. It's just overkill. It's just too much. You just don't need it. To me, the most logical answer is to just sit there and have Shane McMahon be the sole authority figure on SmackDown and be done with it. Isn't that the most sensible thing? Or if you're not going to do that, then you go knocking down the door of somebody who's actually a legend. Somebody who's either a Hall of Famer or someday will be. Somebody that's actually been a star. Somebody that's actually made some money. Somebody that the people actually give a crap about. But over the past 24 hours, I've been asked several times my thoughts, my opinions on the rumors about who could be the replacement for Daniel Bryan as SmackDown Live's new general manager. You want to know what I think? I'll tell you what I think. Don't do it, WWE. I already declared war on you. Issued a temporary true ceasefire and armistice through WrestleMania to be the bigger man, to actually act like a grown man for a change. But you do this, all bets are off. I already don't give a crap about that damn show. And now you think somebody like me is going to, by doing that, by making that individual your new authority figure, by making that individual your new general manager? Who gives a crap about him? Yeah, you put him in the Hall of Fame. And you know what? For that, I didn't go to WrestleMania this year, so ah. Uh -uh. But nobody gives a crap about him. He's not drawing money. He's not moving the needle. He's never really been entertaining at any point in time. And anybody that says he is, is just either A, trying to troll me, or B, trying to be delusional them damn selves into tricking themselves into believing that it wasn't such a waste of time to have watched him throughout so many promotions over so many damn years. But if you do this, you really want to get nuts? We'll get nuts! I will have no choice but to tune in to SmackDown Live next Tuesday. No choice! And before that, you know what I'm going to do? Just what I'm doing now. I'll show you. I'm going to whine, complain, and bitch about it. Because by God, that's the American thing to do. Just like the shirt, it's red, white, and blue. That's what I do. That's what I do. I don't like it. Screw you! I'm going to complain about it, through and through. I don't know why all of a sudden it became time to sit there and talk and rhyme, but I did. If you don't like it, then go ahead and whine. I'm just saying, WWE, do you really want to bring that voodoo on your show? Do you really want me to start watching and reviewing SmackDown Live? Because I will have no choice but to watch it. I will have no choice but to review it and complain all the while. So warning, I'm giving you the chance. Cooler heads prevail. Smarter people prevail. Do the right thing for business. Don't go there. Lots of different things you could do for SmackDown's new general manager. And that sure as hell ain't one of them. But if you do, just know, come next week, I'll do that voodoo that I do. And if it happens, 
then it'll be back. Bigger, badder, and angrier than ever. And what's that, you ask? I'll tell you what it is. 